the defense readiness condition is an alert state used by the United States Armed Forces. The DEFCON system was developed by the Joint Chiefs of Staff and Unified and Specified Combatant Commands. It prescribes five graduated levels of readiness for the U.S. military, and increase in severity from DEFCON 5 to DEFCON 1 to match varying military situations. DEFCONs are a subsystem of a series of alert conditions, or LARTCONs, that also includes emergency conditions. There is no single DEFCON status for the country and in fact different branches of the military can be at different levels of DEFCON at the same time. DEFCONs should not be confused with similar systems used by the U.S. military, such as force protection conditions, readiness conditions, information operations condition and its future replacement cyber operations condition, and watch conditions, or the former Homeland Security Advisory System used by the United States Department of Homeland Security. Levels, DEFCONs vary between many commands and have changed over time, and the United States Department of Defense uses exercise terms when referring to the DEFCONs. This is to preclude the possibility of confusing exercise commands with actual operational commands. On January 12, 1960, NORAD proposed the adoption of the readiness conditions of the JCS system and information about the levels was declassified in 2006, movies and popular culture often misuse the DEFCON system by going to DEFCON 5, when a nuclear war is imminent. In fact, DEFCON 5 is the lowest state of readiness. The highest state, DEFCON 1, has never been called for. History, after NORAD was created, the command used different readiness levels subdivided into eight conditions, for example, the maximum readiness level had two conditions air defense readiness, and air defense emergency. In October 1959, the JCS chairman informed NORAD that Canada and the U.S. had signed an agreement on increasing the operational readiness of NORAD forces during periods of international tension. After the agreement became effective on October 2, 1959, the JCS defined a system with DEFCONs in November 1959 for the military commands. The initial DEFCON system had Alpha and Bravo conditions and Charlie Delta under DEFCON 4, plus an emergency level higher than DEFCON 1 with two conditions, Defense Emergency, and the highest, Air Defense Emergency. DEFCON 2, Cuban Missile Crisis, the highest confirmed DEFCON ever was level 2. During the Cuban Missile Crisis on October 22, 1962, the U.S. Armed Forces were ordered to DEFCON 3. On October 26, Strategic Air Command was ordered to DEFCON 2, while the rest of the U.S. Armed Forces remained at DEFCON 3. SAC remained at DEFCON 2 until November 15. DEFCON 3, Yom Kippur War, on October 6, 1973, Egypt and Syria launched a joint surprise attack on Israel resulting in the Yom Kippur War. The U.S. became concerned that the Soviet Union might intervene and on October 25, U.S. forces including Strategic Air Command, Continental Air Defense Command, European Command and the Sixth Fleet were placed on DEFCON-3. Over the following days, the various forces reverted to normal status with the Sixth Fleet standing down on November 17. September 11 attacks, the third time the United States reached DEFCON-3 was during the September 11 attacks of 2001. U.S. Secretary of Defense Donald Rumsfeld ordered the increased DEFCON level, and also a standby for a possible increase to DEFCON 2, which did not occur. Operations The DEFCON level is controlled primarily by the U.S. President and the U.S. Secretary of Defense through the Chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff and the Combatant Commanders, and each DEFCON level defines specific security, activation, and response scenarios for the troops in question. Different branches of the U.S. Armed forces and different bases or command groups can be activated at different defense conditions. 
There is no single DEFCON status for the country, as they are decided on an individual basis by respective branches of the military. In other media, DEFCON was used significantly in the film's War Games, 13 Days, Watchmen, Independence Day, The Sum of All Fears, Crimson Tide and Olympus Has Fallen. The real-time strategy game DEFCON simulates the outbreak of thermonuclear war, and advances through the DEFCON levels as each match progresses. See also, Doomsday Clock, Hurricane Euro Hurricane Condition Threat Rating. National Command Authority, National Military Command Center, UK Threat Levels A Euro British Equivalent to American DEFCON, References. External Links Media related to DEFCON at Wikimedia Commons